Hello and welcome to another edition of Workforce Water Cooler. My name is Leslie. Joining me is Brian. And we are all about Butler County today, aren't we, Brian? That's right. Let's bring it Butler County. We're ready to come to you here and That's, get you an exciting yes. event. Yes. Um, we have been working for quite some time on this Workforce Collective project. And it is something that really is designed for employers to attend. Um, and then there will be events following this one. But we're going county to county and taking this workforce collective idea to each county. Uh, we want to speak to employers in each county. And we're starting in Butler County. How about that? Yeah, we are excited. Uh, you know, we are trying to aim to deliver these events with the support of the local chambers of commerce. And so that's absolutely what we have going into this event. Um, and so, you know, it's been it's been really good to see that um, we have uh, the support of a chamber because we really want to get in the ear of employers. And, you know, sometimes we've tried to shake the bell or ring the bell, whatever, right, and, and and call attention to ourselves. And sometimes we get response, but very often we don't. And we know everybody's busy. We know everybody has a ton of things going on. This is a modification of an event that we usually do every year that is usually a better part of a day. Um, and it usually has food, and it usually has a lot of community partners, but we really wanted, again, to get into the ear of employers, and we really want them to get back into our ears uh, with what they see is going on as it affects keeping employees, recruiting employees, uh, who's available to work in their local communities. Because um, we know people can commute, but we are taking a county by county approach because we want to say, here's the people that are already a residents living here in your community. And there's a lot of people not working. And so we want to be able to break down and present that information as it pertains exclusively to that county. And then we want to talk about approaches that we've seen work uh, throughout the last year or two coming out of this pandemic um, and, you know, what what works with job seekers. But the message is going to basically be this is the the spoiler alert. Um, messages have to be crafted <laughs> differently for different audiences. So if we keep saying join our team or we're hiring and we're putting that on Facebook, there's probably a lot of people not seeing it on Facebook. If it is featuring young people. Then what are we what are we meaning, you know, for our, our older capable workers uh, that that are looking for work uh, or want to work or are dismissive of themselves? I mean, this works in all audiences. There's all kinds of reasons yeah. that people aren't working and, um, you know, messages are not reaching through. But we want to be able to present information to empower companies on how a message can get through, how they can showcase employees they already have and um, and where we think there's pockets of people that would be willing to come work for them. Yeah, and that's one of the one of the very cool things uh, that that we will be offering. And you and I have seen some of this, and it and we're continuing to to get more and more. Um, but the county specific data on you know who's working, age groups, demographics, it is fascinating. I mean, it if you are an employer in Butler County, you cannot miss this. You That's right. I mean, seriously. Um and small businesses, you're welcome to come. This is not, you know, just like for big big businesses because the workforce crisis that we're in is impacting everyone. So small businesses are welcome. Big businesses are welcome. Um, the data is amazing. And I think it will be very empowering for people to receive that. And this will be the first time it's presented in public. You know, it's hot off the press. Um, and then we'll be taking that data and helping businesses figure out, hey, you know, how can I approach these these particular pockets of people? Um, 
And uh, and I appreciate what you said about the the chambers. The Morgantown Butler County Chamber has been amazing. They helped us secure a location. Uh, we've got you know a location for this event. Uh, they are sharing it in their newsletter. Um, I'm sure they'll share it on social media as well. And that's something we're we're going to need from all the chambers that that we work with, because right. it's just like you said. Um, yeah, we're we're all busy, but it is, you know, I think people, the general public would be amazed how challenging it can be to get employers all together. And yeah, it's hard. And well, and we're only trying to ask for that for two hours uh, here and not only next week, but each time that we'll do this, we're, we're planning for a two hour format. Of course, we want it to um, involve other meetings and other ways that we can be strategic after the event. But there's only so much world saving we can probably do in one day um, and information that can make people's heads explode. And so we've got it and you know, pretty tight timeline, two hours. Um, you know, it's in between meals, so you're not asking anybody to sacrifice breakfast or, or lunch uh, or anything like that. It can hit in that sweet spot. So, again, uh, you know, if employers are like, man, I really want to be there. Uh, it's not going to work. I already got a commitment at that time. Reach out to us, Butler County employers, because we want to be able to continue to keep you in the loop, invite you with what's going to happen afterwards. We do think we might be recording this, but that's Probably still not going to be the ideal format to take this information in. Live is going to be best yeah. um, and in person. And so, um, you know, yeah, I would, we yeah. weather and flu and COVID and all that permitted, right? Like we're we're trying to do more of this in person stuff and get people together around the table to tackle things. And so this will be our first, you know, premier opportunity here in our region where we will bring this information and we will bring the energy. And um, we're not asking for a full day commitment. Absolutely. And I mean, I honestly, I think employers, you know, if if there's something where if you're a business owner and, oh, I can't attend, I mean, send someone from your business. Um, I I would love to see the majority of employers represented in each county. I think it, I think it's that important. Um, so we're excited to premiere the Workforce Collective in Butler County. Um, I think it's cool that it's sort of like we're bringing a summit that's just for your county to your county. What? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know <laughs> if anybody else is doing this, but I, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yep. so employers do not miss this opportunity. Uh, we have we have uh, social media. If you go to Facebook, South Central Workforce Development Board links to tickets. Tickets are free. Uh, there's no cost to attend, but we do want you to register in advance. Um, we know that seating will be limited. And we don't, you know, we don't want to walk in and and a lot of people not have somewhere to sit. So if you're an employer, I would register and I would register now to make sure that you have a spot uh, and know that it's free. It's two hours and you're going it, to it is going to be worth your time. I'm telling yep. you that. Yep. It's going to be worth coming to. and. You know, just go ahead and, and put it on your calendar. There you go. It's got the witty, you know, seal of approval, endorsement, you know, money back guarantee. <laughs> That's right. Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Um, we're excited about this concept of the workforce collective events coming to each county. Butler County, we're coming to you first world premiere, um, Butler County and, uh, buckle up, buckle up, buckle up. That's right. That's right. It's gonna, you know, we're, I mean, we're pumped. 
We really are. So uh, thank you for joining us for this edition of Workforce Water Cooler, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much. Bye.